He'll look to throw. Incomplete. He had his hands on it, but couldn't pick it. But it's now fourth down. Well, no second guessing the call here. It was third and long, so throwing the football was probably the smart play to try and pick it up. But they don't get it, and now the defense goes off the field feeling pretty good about themselves, gaining some momentum as they force them into a likely punting situation. And the Jaguars send out their punter as he'll kick it away for the second time. Oh, it's a wobbler here. Officially, that'll be marked down as just a 28-yard punt. And the Eagles will have great starting field position here as they take over. in a big run just a short one there but guess what sometimes you treat it like boxing you throw that jab out there and you throw it again you throw it again then you come with a big punch later maybe they're just trying to set them up now they'll throw here out of the gun and they're not able to hook up there incomplete We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away, but the bottom line is that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. In danger of squandering their great field position as they come up on a third and seven. Back to throw. And that is incomplete. Well, too much oomph, too much mustard there on that pass. Yeah, really turned it loose, didn't he? Really cut loose with that one. Sharp, strong. Didn't lead to a completion, though. Made it very difficult. Now Jake Elliott for the field goal try. On the left hash, officially it's called a 51-yard attempt. And the kick by Elliott is good. And the Eagles, they take a 3-0 lead. These kickers now, it's like we take them for granted. Kicks like that used to be such a big deal, and now you just expect them to make it. Yeah, you're exactly right, and we shouldn't take them for granted, but I have a theory about it. You want to hear it? Yep. They are more athletic now than ever before. Talk about kickers. Mm -hmm. Trace their backgrounds, trace their histories. You'll find that they were big-time athletes all along, but their kicking was so prevalent that we made them specialists. Well, and now those 50-plus yarders seem easy for some reason.
Bortles leads the Jags up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Oh, so close to an interception. Read that beautifully. Got his hands on it. Couldn't get it. And it's second down. I tell you, Brandon, this defense is playing with some confidence. Haven't allowed a point yet. Flying to the football. I'm telling you, it's almost 11 to the ball on every snap. Another nice job there to force an incompletion. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Here's a carry for a former starter. This is T.J. Yeldon, and he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. Tackle made that time by Brandon Graham. Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things, but the defensive guys, hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blow. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. They're going to look to throw. He's got his tight end on the corner round. It's complete. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. A big one there for the Jags. 18 yards, first down. Okay, when the big guy runs a corner route, you're asking a lot no matter who's covering him. Doesn't matter whether it's a linebacker or a defensive back. Yeah. He usually has the advantage because of his body type. Time, getting it to about the 46. Malcolm Jenkins up to make the stop. Whenever we talk about the best strong safeties, one word constantly comes up, and that's instincts. Being able to diagnose runner pass and make the appropriate moves. He crashed down hard there. He was ready for that running play. Set up a throw. Wide open receiver complete. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. 23 yards on the play. Thus far, it hasn't been a real fun half for them. But a play like that, that may get them off the schneid a little bit, get them loosened up and moving. Kind of seems like they've been sleepwalking and still sitting on zero points. And it's not always making an adjustment. Sometimes it's just going back to what you know can work and finally getting it done. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 down at the 31. They'll look to throw. Oh, he nearly picked it. Maybe daylight in front of him if he could have held on. Instead, second down. But one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown him a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after him. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. He'll look to throw. And this time he's got the hook up. It's complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. First down, Jacksonville. The passing game looking sharp on this drive for the Jags. I know the halftime's approaching, but I don't think he's going to want to take a break. That's his fifth catch. Yeah, they've really been targeting the tight end. The Jags with their first opportunity in the red zone. They have a first and 10 at the 18. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. And lucky to get away with one there. That one nearly picked. Second down. I know in every game we do, we talk about momentum. That was a momentum play lost. And now, there could be a letdown because they didn't get the interception. Yeah, you could almost hear the collective gasp on the sideline as he could not come up with that football. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Hey, 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 hey. 
Bortles going to run the draw with Fournette. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. That one good for 17 yards. And now they've got it first and goal. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. I think if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. And the Jags are able to cash in for six. And while that touchdown does not give them an insurmountable lead, it's still a lead, and that always feels good to a team. They'd love to take that into the lockers, but a little time left on that clock, so some work to do. I like that. I like how you're guarding against a letdown there. Are you looking forward? Coaching them up from right up here in the booth. Josh Lambeau now for the point after. Extra point tacked on by Lambeau. So the drive goes 75 yards, 10 plays, and it culminates in a Jags touchdown. Here's Lambeau out to kick this one away. Free kick out of bounds. Kicking team. So they will accept the penalty and move forward. Automatic first down. The Eagles in good position to start out as they come up first and ten. They'll look to throw here. And an incomplete pass. That'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. Well, they're slinging it, and then there's one you got to put a timer on, huh? I mean, that one came in hot. That came in hot, but overthrown out of his reach and incomplete. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Looking to throw. And his throw is incomplete. He was trying to get it to Zach Ertz that time. And it's third down. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because they didn't completions on first and second down. Now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. And that's incomplete. He was waving his arms, wanted the football, but he dropped it. And that reminds me of a story you told me from your days at Tennessee. We don't need to mention the other guy's name, but when he dropped an open pass that you blew coverage on, what'd you say to it? Yeah, it's really not right since I blew coverage, but <laughs> since he dropped the pass, I said, well, maybe next time he'll just walk it out here and hand it to you. Would that be easier? He wasn't, real, th he wasn't real thrilled with that. It's cold-blooded. Cold-blooded. <laughs> the Eagles send out their punter now as he's on to kick it away. Yeah, he was looking for the checkup bounce, didn't get it. That scoots all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. They'll start out on the ground. It's T.J. Yeldon. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. T.J. Yeldon's not afraid to drop a shoulder or run through some tackles, is he? Not at all. I learned it in his high school days in Alabama, then, of course, stayed in state to play at Alabama. He could do that there. And what I think is best about him 